Ano ay Belina Mikhail Loha and welcome to Kumu Facts Views. I am Kumulato. I'm continuing on my Merry Monarch reactions and impressions. And this kahiko that I'm going to share is from Kumu Hula, Lena Ala, Pavao Jardine from the island of Kauai, Halau, Kalei Mokihana, or Lena Ala. This was the, the other kahiko that stood out to me last night and i wanted to share with all of you some of my thoughts and impressions they do he mele inoa no kamehameha e lima uh mele that takes you through the nepali coastline of kawaii so without further ado let's go ahead and check it out mahalo to hula ola for presenting this from kala hill kawaii Welcome, Kumuhula, Lena Ala Pavao Jardim, and Hala Kale Mukihana O Lena Ala. So I want to talk about that. So uh, they that's their kai, like how I talked about the kai in my other video. A lot of halal, when they do a hula pahu, and this is just based off of my experience from what I've been told from judges when I enter, you know, there's a specific, again, judges have their own preferences, and sometimes that's what they use to judge. Um, the preference for a lot of the traditionalists is for hula pahu to use the simple kaniaka pahu, which is just the beat of the pahu, um, or kau kahalia with the kaniaka pahu, yeah, or uh, mapu mau, mapu kalehua. Shoot, it, it was at the top of my. Tongue, tip of my tongue um that a couple of the other halau that did hula pahu they did that mapu keala lawa it i'll figure it out and i'll put it in a comment or something but um traditionalists have their preference in what they want you to do 
Um, but I appreciate that the halal did uh, melano kapau and their pa'u skirts, if you don't know or you didn't have an understanding, is made out of kappa or it's a kappa skirt made from valke. And it's not light, but it's very nice and appealing on stage. And I especially like the belt part that they have and the color they use on the top. But back to the video. Um, so uh, I really like the chanting back and forth. I'm a kahoahoa person, meaning I like chanting and having my students respond. And I also like watching as they are doing on stage, the Haumana chant, the Kumu chant, they all chant. But the stamina needed for these type of movements is great you know you need a lot of stamina to sound this fool and this great while moving on the stage as they are moving and i also wanted to also note note that a lot of the hula pahu let me get in the camera they were really emphasizing a lot of these wait wait, wait these wrist movements there's one hala that also did this with their fingers but i've noticed that groups that have done hula pahu the emphasis the emphasis the emphasis of their wrist movements are really notable or noticeable and but their hula pahu steps are really nice and clean and crisp and what makes it stand out even more is that pa'u kappa their skirts that made of kappa and how it just the stiffness of that kappa and how it moves and how they move together it's just really amazing and really stands out to me. Oh, 
Uh, that was a really impressive performance by Halau Kalei Mokihana Olena Ala. Um, I really appreciated the hula pahu. I, I this year I've been doing a lot of hula pahu myself with my haumana. Um, what I wanted to talk about again was the striking image of that pa'u kappa and that vauke and that belt with the color top they chose to wear and the the green everything is very striking even the prints on that kappa you can't really tell from the video this quality is not too good but they spent a lot of time making that skirt two years the kumu said they took about two and a half years and then to see it, to see the final product and to see how it moves on stage, how they move in sync with a lot of those quick movements and those quick caveles and helas and holokuis and all of those steps. It was really, really striking on that stage and really, really stuck with me here. Um, the motions where they talk about the lava core wind that blows through these areas of Nualolo, Kalalao, and then it, it just blows and wraps itself towards the Hanale area. Um, they talk about the beauty of these different places, whether it's the forestry, there was some Kai ocean motion where, again, they did this flipping of the wrists. And, this is something, I don't know if hula people out there, you want to chime in on this, but in a lot of the hula pahus this year, I've noticed a lot of emphasis on the wrist movements and wrist. Is that something the judges are looking for these days, or is this something that they're experimenting with? But anyway, an excellent performance. These are the two, this is one of two that really stuck out with me. If you want to know the other one, see the other video. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Hit that subscribe button, comment, whatever these other reactors say. Uh, aloha, take care. Mwah.